Electrical power is made up of two main components, current and voltage. High voltage tends to manifest as fractal sparks, or lightning-like discharges. But high current manifests in a different way. It produces heat. A lot of it. Hey, welcome back to Plasma Channel. The production of heat through high current is actually an extremely useful element of electricity. For instance, it's the principles behind how an arc welder works. So, even though this DIY is nothing new to the internet, I'd love to show you an incredibly simple method for creating high current and explain what's happening in the process. And trust me, things start to heat up a bit. This build is simple. Take a microwave oven transformer with its primary heater element and secondary windings and remove both the secondary and heater element windings. Replace them with three to four turns of four gauge stranded copper wire. So the secondary coil can be a little tricky to remove because it's covered in epoxy. So you can take a flathead screwdriver and a hammer and actually chisel away at it. Once out, you can slide in the new wire. Four gauge is important because it can survive the tremendous current created by the change in turns ratio. The original secondary contained thousands of turns of wire and output two kilovolts at about half an amp, or in other words, a thousand watts. But now with only four turns, the secondary outputs a measly four volts, but at 250 amps, still a thousand watts. But this thousand watts now has the capability to dump most of its energy into heating up a resistive load, such as any metal less conductive than the copper wire itself. The reason why upping the current produces so much heat across the resistive load is due to the power loss law, composed of current and resistance. Since current in that equation is squared, any increase in current causes an even larger increase in power loss, through heat. It's at this point that I should probably warn you. While 4 volts won't shock you, 250 amps will burn you and burn your house down. So use caution. Safety aside, it's Time to melt some metal. Here's a six inch bolt. Glowing red in five seconds. And melted through in eight. Thin steel rod doesn't stand much of a chance either. After just a couple of seconds, it can be tied into a knot or simply melted into a puddle. Feeding the rod like this is actually similar to how a welder works. And a little 3 inch bolt melts in less than 4 seconds. I also wanted to see if the current was high enough to actually vaporize steel. I think these holes speak for themselves. So you now know how to make a high current power source out of nothing more than a microwave oven transformer and a few turns of 4 gauge copper wire. This was a pretty basic episode, but I just wanted to make some sparks. Figured I'd bring you along for the process. Thanks for stopping by, and don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to Plasma Channel. Check us out on other social media, and feel free to check out our various other episodes. With science every two weeks, you stay classy.